Hey guys, welcome back to another Shindo Life video, and it's been a while since I've said that, because the last time I uploaded a video on this game was, I think, about 7 months ago, so yeah, it's been a while. But don't worry, I've still been playing the game here and there, and for today's video, as you probably saw in the title already, we're going to be showing off the ultimate uh, lava moveset with, you know, happy and all its drops. And I'm actually using the Lava EKG because I feel like it kind of fits. And surprisingly, none of the moves are on global cooldown with each other, which is really nice. But anyways, before we get started with the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. My goal is to try to hit 800 subs by the end of next month, so if you guys subscribe, that would be very helpful. But anyways, let's get started with the video. Before I start, let me actually go quickly go to some logs and quickly showcase all the moves just in case you guys haven't seen them before or sure clicking the video for the showcase mainly so let's do that really quickly okay so we're over at the logs now so let's see all the moves so i'm gonna start off with the weapon the happy staff basically you just throw your staff out and yeah it does this gigantic lava pillar it does quite a lot of damage, but it double hit with the slogs, and it's doing more damage than it actually normally does. But yeah, it's a really good move to actually stun people, so it's a good weapon. There's not much else to say. So anyways, here's the lava, I mean magma first move. It's just a flamethrower kind of. Think of it like, um, let's see, a uh, flame reworks. Uh, flamethrower as well it's very similar except it actually block breaks so it's very nice it doesn't deal that much damage but you can actually combo extend off it second move honestly is probably the best move in magma ekg which is this it does nice damage um, it also does burn so it might seem quite low but it's also an insta cast which is also very nice and the third move is um, a stun pillar i think yeah and as you can see it locks onto the nearest opponent and just does pillar and it's actually not on a stun cooldown but kind of stun so you can use it to combo with your second move into your third move but let me quickly show off the tailed spirit i'm just going to be going to the fourth move mode because that's what you guys care about here we go so right, first of all the e-spec is literally just a counter it's the same as all gen 3 tailed spirits so there's no need to really show that off but we'll most likely get it in our matches anyway but here's the key spec you basically go in with staff and you also summon um you know happy to help you out which is actually very helpful the only thing is this mode drains like a lot in the actual competitive mode but anyways and here's the z spec you know you, you just go on happy you do a you know tail beast bomb and you summon some magma i don't know this is like the effects kind of glitch out for some reason it's very weird but yeah, that's pretty much the mode. I guess if you guys forgot what Lava e EKG is like, let me just do that really quick. You know, a bunch of lava bubbles, lava floor, and even more lava. There we go. So yeah, this is going to be a, quite a potent combo and competitive. So I'm actually going to do Arena X on ranked because to be honest, there are too many sweats and competitive right now. And this moveset is definitely more befitting for like a game mode with multiple people due to this large AoE. So let's get right to it. Alright, looks like we loaded in and it's just in time for a new match I believe. Alright, so I think the general thing I'm gonna do is, you know, place down our lava floor to stun people. Of course they combo and counter me. Going with their lava bread, nice, get some M1s in it, throw them with Q-Spec. Nice, and are you looking at our combo damage? We're actually doing the insane amount. Oh yikes. Okay, it looks like somebody's also using a lot of KG, EKG. It's kind of surprising because this is a very less used mode. I mean, moveset. Okay. The thing is the stun is actually not that good because it's so close range. Okay, let's see. Can I sub out? Right, thank you. Well, I should be able to hit somebody here. And I did not hit anybody there. That's actually quite weird. Ironically enough, in the flame rework, like this move is also very similar as you can see. Kinda stun people and we can immediately combo in with an Q spec. 
Honestly, the Q-Spec is the most fun part about this kit. Like, literally, you just run in there, and then you immediately, um, attack people with the gigantic Lava Pillar. Okay, then. I haven't used a second move yet, so let's just get some free damage. I don't know why they made it Instacast. It's very busted, but I guess it's very fun to use as well. Right, I knew I actually hit somebody with stun. Let's see. Okay, great. Doku. I love it. Please don't combo me. Yeah, Bankai Inferno lasts forever. Okay, thankfully we were able to block that. Alright, let's see. I want to get the stun off. Aw, oh, he used a breakaway. Surprised he didn't sub out, though. I'm gonna use my flamethrower. Oh. Oh, and he countered us, yeah. The only thing about this move is if somebody sees you using it, it's super easy to counter. Okay, like, we're taking a ton of damage right now. Okay. Let me sub out. Yeah, thank you very much. Got heal. Yeah, since we're on neutral team, I literally have no teammates, which kinda sucks. I'm gonna hit him with lava, you know? Yeah, a lot of people sleep on lava. Like, if you guys aren't using this bloodline already, I recommend you guys actually do. To be honest, lava is kind of better than magma. Like, are them this one stun move? Like, I don't really see why you'd use magma over lava. Like, moves are just a better version of each other in lava versus magma. And I just got stun on him, and with the flamethrower as well. Oh my God, these guys are going crazy with this. But okay, we actually get mode. So you know, if they you know back off, so I can mode up. That'd be real nice. The only thing is like happy like or like any gen 3 takes like a lot of mode Like I'm losing a hundred or no, that's even more than a hundred. So I you gotta go crazy like now Oh that dude countered us. That's not good. Let's go with a Q-Spec Oh and he countered that too. Oh but he's still gone with the staff. Nice And we're comboing with happy as you can see, like, summoning your tailed spirit is very useful <laughs> because li people literally can't do much against it. Very nice if you dodge those. Go with some magma. Okay, I was hoping for a better result there. Did not get it. At least hit some of that. Nice. M1s, maybe? Yeah, our M1 distance goes crazy, and our Q-Spec's already up again. Right, of course, he counters up, but as you can see, our staff actually goes through it. I get some more M1s before mode runs out, and yeah, our mode is already gone, which kind of sucks. But this is what you get, what I get, I guess, for using it in um, competitive. I was here on him with stun. Okay, no, dude. I swear to God, like they Bankai Inferno needs like a big nerf. Okay, can I sub out this? Okay, no. I actually have not been using the Taijutsu I put on my move set. Probably good if I actually use it. Did my glitch? What's this? Okay, nah, my ping was spiking like crazy there. Oh yeah, I, I don't know why I did that. I literally heard the stun noise. That is great. Somehow I managed to get out of that though, which is nice. Uh, looks like somebody on red team came to help me out. A little bit, they know I'm still gonna attack them regardless. Nice, I caught them in stun, hit them with the flamethrower. I'm gonna try hitting them with the staff immediately after, nice. Alright, while I'm getting comboed here, we are dealing tons of damage. Actually, I haven't been using the lava floor enough, so let me use that real quick. As I'm surprised like it, people don't use these wide AoE moves like Iron Sand and Lava Floor. Like, they're actually very annoying to deal with if you're on the receiving end. Oh god. Yeah, and everybody kind of sleeps on this um, magma moves range. Like, not everybody knows if it's actually not that bad. Let's see if I hit him with Ember Entry. Nice. With some Taijutsu. Piece him up real quick, if you know what I mean. Knock him back into Q spec. Nice. Aw, oh, damn it. It's Teamy came. I ideally, I heal here. Nice. Can't do anything. Hit him with the flamethrower. Oh, uh, did he sub out? I think he did sub out. Okay. 
Now this is not going well since I'm still on neutral team, but let's see if I can still inflict more damage. Get the flame rework, nice. Some lava and into lava. Oh, and he's dead, okay. It's good that my move was not off cooldown, otherwise I wasted it. I'm gonna go in with the magma stun here, nice. Looks like his stun just ran out, which is good for us. And yeah, using the stun into the Q spec is a, such a viable, you know, combo. With Ember entry. Ooh, I just missed that. Okay, can I get out of this please? And oh boy, that is lagging my frames the crazy. The lava floor, stun them all, nice. With the insta cast lava move, because why not? And the flamethrower into the Q spec. And yeah, as you can see at my combo meter, that's a lot of damage. You can literally do stupid combos like this. Like, are you guys seeing how much damage I'm doing here? Actually kind of insane. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna keep it going because this dude did not sub out. And we got mode again. This is actually insane. Yeah, with the new mode rework changes that I've noticed really recently, like, you get mode so quick now. Oh nice, we target him, good. Let's see if I'm gonna hit him with the Q spec. Oh, and I got him with the Q spec, nice. And him with some M1s, is he dead? Okay, nice. Yeah, we're actually slaying with this moveset. I think we're, we're literally like, basically beating both red and blue team now. Oh, I hit him with our combo, nice. Aw, oh, nothing else is up. No, oh, maybe I can try hitting him with the counter. But nah, he's not falling for it. Wait, never mind, he actually did. Dude, I'm surprised people don't know about the counter already, like... That was actually quite surprising. Looks like we still have enough to go for one more Q-spec. And nice. And yep, we got Happy out to piece this dude up, hopefully. Okay, yikes. Okay, we're gonna also be out of mode. But, it was a pretty worth it mode, since we did hella damage and we basically killed that person. Praying with somebody with a stun here, nice. And with the second stun, dude, this moveset is just too good. I have Taijutsu. Oh, he cancelled it. Good thing he couldn't do anything with against me with his combo breaker. And great, we're gonna take a ton of damage here. Alright, sub out, please. Please game, don't sell. Yeah, the Magma second honestly is great for escaping as well. I kind of wish it did residual damage, you know, because like, okay. And as you guys see, we got first place. Maybe not on kills, but our damage was actually first. And that's pretty much it for the video. This is basically the full Lava, Magma, Happy, whatever moves that you want to call it. And it was honestly pretty fun. So once again, if you like this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe. And see you guys for the next video.